Welcome to Warrior Work, I'm Coach Hill. Today we're gonna to be sharing with you an oak and willow form. The oak and willow form is a Tai Chi Chuan Fa form. The goal of Tai Chi is the systematic building of the body's energy system. The goal of Chuan Fa, the systematic destruction of the body's energy system. So together, Tai Chi Chuan Fa make a complete system. A lot of times you just hear about the Tai Chi Chuan, the grand ultimate fist, but the Fa brings the whole system to a completion like the yin and yang symbol. Uh, the form is following the same pattern as hands on the wall, which we showed you last week. It also follows the same pattern as the Chinese Kempo, short one kata, also very similar to the American Kempo, short one kata. Uh, great thing about right and left side forms, a lot of people have a uh, thing that they don't really like doing forms, but the great thing about right and left side forms is it works both your left and right brain and it helps you to coordinate those two sides, getting them to work together. I'm gonna to show you a really simple left brain, right brain exercise uh, that I really enjoy that kind of demonstrates that. You know, in boxing you have the forward circles, elbows up, hitting the back, and then we can reverse the circles going backwards. So we have forward circles and backward circles. And then we separate the two, and we're going to, again, really incorporate the right brain, left brain. We're gonna go forward, right, and we're gonna go backward left. When you do this drill, you want to do it just like this. Forward right, backward left, and you also want to say forward right, backward left, because if you just think it, when we think in language, we use a different part of our brain than when we actually speak language. So we have forward right, backward left, do that like three times, and then say forward right, backward left, and do it at the same time. You're gonna find that's very challenging, and you may not be able to do it initially because the sides of your brain don't work th together. And then we're gonna do forward left and backward right. When again, you first do it, you wanna say forward left, backward right. Forward left, backward right. And you just keep working on that. Your brain to grow your intelligence really needs challenges. You need things that when you do it first initially, you laugh and go, man, this is crazy. I can't even control my hands in this simple forward right, backward left, and forward left and backward right pattern. And again, it just all strides from just this forward right, backward left, Drill. So that's why it's important to, again, be able to do right side of the body, left side of the body, and both. We're going to show you the form from the front and the back. We're going to show you where it gets this concept of Oak and Willow. I'm going to have Coach John come out here, and we're going to demonstrate again how Oak and Willow works. He starts in the Wu Chi posture, which is horse stance, elbows out and up, hands in, relaxing, sinking, shoulders, hips, and ankles have to be aligned. And again, in the oak posture, as I run into him with my chest, or if you have a female doing this coach, you use your forearms, he's gonna be nice and solid. So he's warding me off. Okay, so basic kind of a beginning ward off kind of a posture. Uh, when you first initially do this with people, they might fall back on their toes, they might lose their balance, okay? So again, oak, and oak becomes ward off to any degree all the way out to a big back fist, which could be a backhand, back fist, chop, or a hammer, okay? Willow, when I push, he turns to the left. He just willows it off, okay? So you can see, instead of being oak, he becomes willow, hard or soft. Thank you. And that motion turns into roll back, turns into all of those things you see in Chuan Fa and Kempo, all the techniques where the hand turns and rolls, and, and lots of techniques again come off of oak or willow postures. So again, again, I'm gonna show you the form first from the front, and then from the back. So we start off, feet together, and we step out into our Wu Chi posture. And again, you wanna really just contemplate that you wanna be oak or willow. The first direction is 12 o'clock, which here's our 12, three, six, and nine. The form actually follows 12, nine, three, and six positions. I'm gonna step back with my left foot and I'm going to repulse monkey with the right hand. I'm gonna go through the oak and willow posture to repulse monkey left side. I'm gonna step up with my right foot and L step, outward clear with the left hand and three quarter punch with the right. Stepping back, outward clear with the right hand, three quarter punch with the left. Next, I'm going three o'clock, adjustment step, and I upward 
block and palm, which is called Fair Lady Works and Shuttles. And again, I do it with my left side. And then I'll step away with my left foot. I do a downward clear and a right or left vertical punch. Again, Oak and Willow, left downward clear, right vertical punch. And then I'll step back to my Oak and Willow position, harmonize, and set. Okay, I'll show you that from the rear position as well. So again, we start our feet together, step out left, float into our Wu Chi posture, Oak and Willow. I'll step back, repulse monkey, left side, repulse monkey, right side. Clear left, three quarter punch right. Clear right, three quarter punch left. Riding the Tai Chi horse to Fair Lady versus Shuttles. Fair Lady versus Shuttles. Step away, downward clear, left vertical punch. Step back, left, left vertical punch. L step back to Wu Chi, harmonize, set. So again, a very, very simple form, Oak and Willow. Uh, you can also uh, change the speed, the dynamics in it, of course. And this you wanna do it very slowly just to get your structural integrity. Let me bring Coach John back in here one more time just to show you a couple of interesting things. One of the things that oftentimes people don't do in Tai Chi training is they, again, remember the goal is to systematically build your body's energy system. The goal of Chuan Fa, the systematic destruction of the body's energy system. So in the Tai Chi side, a lot of people don't systematically test the body's structure or energy system to see how effective it is. So uh, again, in the initial motion, He's coming in, grabbing me, pushing me. I'm clearing and palming, okay? Now, if he puts his weight on me, I'm still here. If he puts his weight on me and my structure collapses, then my structure is not good. So when you're testing postures, you wanna see how solid is the structure. Uh, let's go to the other side. And he grabs me with his right hand on the shoulder. Again, this initial motion, I'm stepping away, but we can also do this whole form offensively as well. I'm going to clear, and I'm going to, this three-quarter punch into the sorrel plexus. Now, when he pushes in on me, he just pushes in, okay? And we see, does his structure collapse or does my structure collapse? That's an important element in this process. So when you're testing things, where does the structure collapse? Uh, for those of you who do a lot of locks and control techniques, when he comes in here, I'm going to show you a half lock, basic half lock. He turns and faces the camera. I've got him in a side position. And the half lock, again, the goal of the half lock is to break down the structure of the body. Okay? It does that by locking the joint, stretching the tendon and ligament. But if he stands and he relaxes and he breathes and he sinks and he goes into that Tai Chi mindset, again, relaxing and sinking, breathing, relaxing, as I put this pressure on him, he lets the pressure go down into the body. If his hips are aligned, okay, then he should be able to stand here nice and easily. And, it, and it's tough, okay, and it, it's a little painful, but the more you do standing postures, the purpose of standing postures in Tai Chi is to build this resilience, then his structure doesn't collapse. One of the things he has to learn is how when I start to push him and pull him, how to keep his structure from collapsing, because that's the willow. So when he's standing here and he's just breathing and I put the pressure on him, that's the oak. But when somebody's able to break his structure, he's got to be able to willow it and move back into a ward off kind of position. So if he puts the lock on me, as again, as the pressure's here, I'm letting it go down in my system. As he pushes in on me, I think, gosh, he's not pushing on me tough enough to break my structure. But as he really puts his weight forward and pushes in, then I can roll back. Okay, and it moves in a different lock. So again, the process of oak and willow, very, very important, just as a concept that you can use and you can apply in any of your Chinese Kempo techniques. Thank you. You can apply in any of your Chinese Kempo techniques, which is the Chuan Fa. You can apply in any of your Tai Chi concepts. You just have to think, am I right now training for structural integrity, building my structure, systematically building my energy system? Or am I focusing on the systematic destruction of my opponent's energy system? A lot of times in martial arts, 
If you're always focusing on breaking your opponent's energy system down and not really wisely building your own system up, you get to a point where you're actually breaking your own system down as well. And you see that a lot in hard martial arts. I did the hard martial arts for many, many, many years before I got into the softer internal arts and you know, destroyed my hips, you know, destroyed you know, my neck and shoulder girdle, you know, I'm getting hit in the head all the time. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that, that get broken down. And personally, I wish I would have started in learning the science behind the internal arts earlier on and the actual applications of them. Because a lot of times, again, when people do the internal arts, they think, oh, we're just you know, waving our hands around and there's no real power in this. And there isn't if you don't learn to do them properly with the right science behind it. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Warrior Work.